Kia ora from Aotearoa. Poppy here with the ninth wave um, energy report. I thought I'd put myself in the picture today. Oh, and maybe my cat will even come into the picture. Here she comes. <laughs> and the sun. And um, I'm just actually doing a little review of the day wave, which is just completing today. And that's the day wave in 12 deer. And here we have it here. And I better get myself sorted for tomorrow because that's coming tomorrow. Woo. Um, yeah, so here we go. This, so the 12, 12 deer day wave, this was about uh, maturing and wisdom of standing strong and balanced and self-assured in our personal power. How did you go? Um, I've definitely needed to put that to practice. With grace, we allow those separating away from us to face the consequences of their actions, past persecutors, principalities, fall, and ascending time frequency. And as we can see, um, a lot of perpetrators are starting to not be able to receive power um, from their, the people that they've tried to get it from before. And this is definitely changing. And as time is um, continuing to quicken, um, what's happening is that we're all coming back to our true soul value. So over a long, long time, actually it's been thousands of years now, there's been a lot of um, black magic, ritual, spell casting, all of that sort of stuff. And those, uh, and people have literally been used as a power source. And especially certain um, bloodlines and all of that. And so there's certain people that have been harvested for their energy and they've had a really tough time. And then there's others who actually know how to get energy, um, even to try to take a destiny of another soul uh, and claim it as their own without doing that soul maturity work. So it's really important that we each do our own soul maturity work. And as these beautiful codes come through the sun, and you can see it, you know, just looking at the sun there, look at that. It's light codes. That's, um, of course, it's going through and showing a prism effect. But these are light codes that come through the sun with these energies that we can grow and mature our souls by. So um, I've been working really, really hard on forgiving all perpetrators of the past and just leaving it where that is. And what happens to them is not my concern. And I don't even really need to give that any energy or attention anymore. So. We move in strength with fortitude. Oh, now I know why I got fortitude. <laughs> this word fortitude when I was putting this together because I have absolutely had to endure this this time. It's, um, I've actually had very health dangerous things that have been going on. Um, and I am incredibly divinely protected, but I don't feel like I can talk publicly about what's happened. Just, just to keep protecting my own um, energy as things finish off and they no longer have access anymore. So we move in strength with fortitude, which is our courage that carries us through pain and adversity. The current solar maximum cycle amplifies these cosmic energies as they pass through it and the cosmic axis each day. So we've had some good sun flares, good um, activity from the sun. These are enhancing the energies. Um, it was so funny, we had that big X1 when the whole drama of the assassination happened. And and that that is, these things are gonna keep happening and they're gonna keep distracting people from actually doing the work. Like we are a source we've been used like batteries, our energy has been taken. So we have source, we are part of source, but we are also our source. And when we actually see ourselves as our source, then we don't actually go outside of ourselves for information. It doesn't matter so much for us what's happening in the outer world. Yeah, it's, it's a reflection on what might be happening in the inner world. So it's worth addressing and seeing and all of that. But to actually be doing 
and aligning with the energy that comes through the sun each day that's actually what helps us mature our souls whether we are connected with the mind calendar or not we all receive those energies so this is a global event people receiving energy from the sun every day it's just up to us whether we want to grow by that or whether we've fallen into the illusions and the patterns and and the places that kind of just keep um, people in an artificial world and the artificial time construct um, interested in the artificial ways that actually harm and damage the earth um, but we can actually come from ourselves so and then I'll go, I delight in the sacred energies of Father Sky who delivers timely energy for life. We become resilient, guided by these cosmic light codes, able to tolerate and heal from the difficult conditions our lives may have brought us this far. And it is quite miraculous at my level when, <laughs> when um, all of these things that are happening, I am just so grateful for divine protection. Absolutely grateful for divine protection. And the, the wonderful thing is that I had emergencies and I connected with people and I had amazing support and assistance um, through that. And I've learned how to treat lymphedema in the head and neck. It has been all ultimately for our growth and soul, solar development. The choice to stand alone completely in the self is one I now value. It was worth the fortitude and resilience that has been developing each one of us. Deer is balanced in the four directions of life, the beginnings, the ripenings, the growings, the maturings, and the endings. So deer naturally attunes with seasons and moves towards health with grace. Deer naturally trusts and accepts the self, is comfortable in aloneness and independent and secure in togetherness, naturally harmonizing with family and environment. So deer naturally trusting the self, that means trusting what the body is telling us because the body is always going to tell us what's going on. And so I very much tune into my body. I do have a life of a lot of meditation and I'm looking forward to when it also includes my yoga practice coming back again. Um, but I can do very minimal. So yeah, deer stands confidently on their own sensitivity not to cast their shadow on others. That means we, you know, we take responsibility even if we have been, um, there's been perpetrators. <laughs> I don't even want to say that word victim because I don't feel that I am. Um, but you know, people do get victimized and, and you know, I don't want to cast my shadow on other people. Um, I believe that we can mature our souls and each one of us can actually become our own energy source we our beliefs will change all these wonderful things will happen as we heal and 12 dear is very 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 much knowing about healing um, and healing is you know has been put into a medical model and all of that but when you connect naturally with the body um, it's quite amazing what we can discover and then halfway through we went into 8L which was um, the nine day phase and this was about sovereign integrity and but with body wisdom and watery sensitivity oh yes <laughs> that has been so true to me um, just to trust this flow from the core of your physical vessel and it's really amazing because I discovered that that um, lymphatic flow it was blocked um, to very dangerous levels and so here we are the flow is coming back for me anyway the wisdom is integrated with every cell of our physicality it is regained and remembered with the fire of your blood and life force wisdom is accessed through um, and it's come into integrity within the self so honoring ourselves and not the noise of the outer world and the forces and all the people that are looked look like they are saviors um, we are our own um, we are our own Jesus Christ if you want to put it that way we are our own savior um, no one is coming to save us we are the only ones that are responsible for our soul and our soul journey so um, so so that's where I feel that giving their attention to those areas and not being distracted by all the drama and the plays of the outer world, especially the dramas and plays of the outer world, which have been destroying Mother Earth. I'm very well aware that people have been put in place um, and 
that may mean that um, we have a chance to, to nurture and harmonise more um, as the old systems break down. Maybe people have been put in place that are um, here to help the system. I just want to be really honest and just say a little bit, um, there was a time where I really believed in the whole Donald Trump narrative that he was here. And he has certainly done a lot to bring down the system and break the system. I, I was quite shocked when I found out about his tower being the 666 black cubes that are very much aligned um, with the sat satanic order. And I've also been really upset, especially when I someone I know personally talked about having been um, violated by, by Donald Trump. And then I've also heard about four other um, independent recollections. Um, yeah, my friend is that has sort of said, well, you know, there are doubles and there are clones, and of course that is, and people can be set up to made to look a certain way. And, you know, I'm also very aware because of what's happened to me at the, sort of the reptilian sort of way where there's a lot of lust for sexuality to harvest sex through sex and, and money. And I'm also very well aware that those black cubes have a power to manipulate money and time and perhaps that has been what's needed for this change. What I guess where I'm heading with this is that everything is very complex and we don't actually personally know the truth, but we know the truth of our body, we know the truth of what's required in our life and how we can heal and mature our souls. So while things play out on the world stage, whether they're staged purposely or not or, or whatever, it's really important to come back to the self and do our work and continue maturing our souls and, and to really not be distracted at these times where the inversion is correcting, it's actually correcting and um, the planet Saturn will be freed and released and um, no longer under that God Cronus <laughs> that um, is the, you know, the child sacrifice energy. Um, yeah, and also, you know, that our whole calendar system, which is a satanic calendar system, a Gregorian system, is all around the life of, of Jesus Christ and who was mostly seen as a, sa as a sacrifice um, in that system. We've got that, we've got the pure, we, you know, all of that. But what, what, what it's actually done and why I think that they put this in the flow is to actually set up the consciousnesses and the mindsets that energy is transferable and exchangeable through money, through sex and all of these things. Um, and it sort of has kept that consciousness going and it is a consciousness of competition and comparison and, um, and competing for, for money and to provide uh, for those who see themselves as the elevated ones or the elites. Um, so these are all things that I'm forgiving. And you know, like when we forgive that, we release that, that gets uh, released from, from the whole paradigm, from, from everything. And we do have a chance to create, to, to create from ourselves, because if we're working on ourselves, our natural actions are going to be earth loving, earth restoring. And this is the actual choice of, of the creation. Um, when I've said that we're co-creators, I think some people have thought that I actually have some godlike powers to create, and that's not how I see it at all. It's actually, when we create, we create because we heal, we create because we change, and we make choices that are actually um, supported by nature herself and, and, and Father Sky, uh, where these 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 codes are seeded from um, they give that energy of that creation within us and that we respond how, from how we grow so yeah I just wanted to do a recap on the day wave and then I'm going to get into looking at the night wave and I will be back soon and so much love to you and so much appreciation and gratitude for our divine protection always know that you have divine protection and that you are a source of energy and this is where I feel um, like I'm not. I know that scriptures came after 
um, all things and there's been a lot of a lot of manipulation in them but there are some things that ring true for me and I've forgotten what it was now but um, that that we are made yes it's that we were made in the image of what they call God I'm saying that we are made in the image of source and that human beings are a source they're a source of energy and um, and and more power than we realize and when we come back and we realize that we are one with source and that we are part of source and source is the whole area that we live and play in then we remember our power and we become more pure and we can break through um, all of these holds that have been upon us so sending you so much love and appreciation so it is